Okay, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to make a tube. Okay, and then we're going to cut it in half and make a half pipe. Okay, so what we need is a cylinder. Okay. Now we're going to need to turn this. So go to rotate and I'm going to rotate it so that it's facing me. Okay, and then I want to change the color. So let me make this a nice green. Whoops, got to select it before you change the color. And uh, I'm going to change the material in this too. I'm going to make it my favorite material, which is cobblestone. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to change the size. So let me go over here to the, oh, and um, I'm going to call this tube outer, tube outer. And if I go down here to the size, I'm going to make it, let me see, what's a good size? Let's do along X, let's do 12. And along Y, 12. Oh, wait, did I do that wrong? X, Y, uh, and then Z, 20. Oh, no, I did it right. Uh, I think I did it right. Hold on, let me see. X, Y are 12s. And then this is 20. Huh, it doesn't look like 20, though. Hold on, let me, let me move my camera a little bit. Huh, I guess that is. Let me move it up a bit. What basically what I want is for a player to be able to fit inside. <laughs> that sure doesn't look like twenty. Let me make it longer. Let's do twelve, twelve, thirty. Oh, okay, okay. It's because I, it's because I rotated it. Um, I should be looking at at uh, these directions here. Okay, so the red one is the one that I want long, and red is X here. So I actually want this one to be 20, and the Z to be 12. Yeah, that's the only thing that is confusing when you rotate an object. Um, all of these axes, they get turned around, and so it's, it's a little confusing when you're trying to change the size uh, using the property window. But, um, and actually that's still <laughs> that's still too short. I'm going to make it um, 12, 12, 30. Or 30, 12, 12. Yeah, that looks better. Just want a nice, a nice tube. Okay, so I want to anchor this so that it doesn't fall. And then um, here's what we're going to do. So there's a number of ways to cut out the center from this uh, cylinder. And the most accurate way that I've found is to make a copy exactly where this where this cylinder is and then change the size. So let me show you how I do that. So I make sure the collisions is off and then I'm going to make a copy of this. Okay, so I go to home menu and I click duplicate. Okay, now that made that made another tube exactly the same and say exactly the same position. I'm going to call this one tube inner. Okay, now on this one, I'm going to change the size. Okay, and this is <laughs> since the the axes are all turned around. Oh, actually, this won't be too hard. So I'm going to make the 30 a 31, a little longer. And I'm going to make the 12 and 11. So it's going to be a little uh, longer, but a little, like, narrower. Okay, and you can see. And I'm going to change the color so you can see this a little better. I'm going to make this one white. Yeah, and so see, I have a... Um, a cylinder on the outside and a cylinder on the inside. Yeah, and we're going to use that to cut a hole in this thing. So um, we're actually ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the model menu and I'm going to select uh, the inner side one and I can just select it here in the in the explorer window and I'm going to negate that one because that's going to be the one that's uh, going to cut out a hole. So negate and you can see that it changed color and now it's called negative part. And now I want to I want to select both of them. So I'm just going to use the drag select to select both of the parts and I'm going to hit union. 
And now what I've got, you can see I've got a tube. So that was actually really easy. Um, the, the nice thing about doing it this way is that everything is aligned perfectly. If you try to do this by moving <laughs> one of the, the inside cylinder using these arrows, it's, it might not be perfect. Okay. But this always works. And then let me call this uh, tube. Okay, and you could save this if you wanted to. If you wanted to save this to your um, toolbox, just go save to Roblox, and you could save this for yourself to use in other in other um, games. Now, the nice thing about this is you could make a bunch of these, right, and kind of make a like a little maze, a little tunnel maze. And let me show you how I would do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go to the top view so I can see better. And let me um, zoom out. Let me mess up my top view. Okay. Okay, and here's what I would do. I would make copies of these and just arrange them so that they are like in a little path. Let me show you how I would do that. So I'm gonna go back to the home menu and I'm going to select my my tube and then I'm going to make a copy um, in the exact same place. So collisions is off. So I made a duplicate and then I'm gonna move this and rotate it so that it um, connects with my other one. Watch, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, and then let me move it. And there's gonna be some holes in this, but it's okay. I'm just trying to show you um, what you can do with this. And actually, you know, if you wanted to make this a little better, you would um, turn off the snap to grid on the rotate um, and on the move. So we can we can have a little more freedom. We can move these and rotate these smoothly just because if you do that watch it lets you kind of put them exactly where you want and that looks pretty good let me see yeah you probably don't want these to be um turned so much otherwise you're gonna have these big gaps um so just play around with it um it's pretty easy to make a little tube tunnel <laughs> uh yeah, and see that doesn't have much of a gap at all. Um, inside you're gonna see like the pieces sticking out, but that's okay. So let me make a, another copy and we'll just test this out. So uh, I'm gonna duplicate. So in the home menu, duplicate, and then I'm going to move it away. And then let me turn it. And again, you probably don't wanna turn these too much just because you will have these gaps if you do that. But this looks pretty good. All right, let me show you what this looks like. Um, yeah, we have a little tube tunnel. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know, this wasn't too much time. So I think it looks pretty good for five minutes of work. And let's test it. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Um, hit play. And here we go. And you know what? It doesn't look too bad because, oh, I have to jump in there. Uh, look, the inside you know I mean yeah you can tell that it's not perfect but um it's pretty good and so you could make like a little tube maze with this right where you'd have players kind of trying to figure out where to go uh, okay so that worked okay now that I've shown you how to do that let me show you how to cut these in half and that's actually pretty easy too so um, I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna get rid of the extras that I made. Okay, and I'm going to cut this one in half just to show you uh, how to make a half pipe. Uh, let me see, I want one of you like, well, yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna add a part to cut the top off and I'm just gonna use a block. So I'm gonna insert a block and then I'm going to, I'm just gonna stretch this one by hand so that I can, um, cut off the cut off the top half okay and this doesn't have to be perfect because we're just using it to cut a piece off okay let me um, move this up and the nice thing that happens when you move it see how it becomes slightly transparent so this lets you see a little bit better um, so let me let me rotate this around yeah, I got. Looks like I got all of it. And you will, you will. Um, <laughs> I made it a little long. Um, you will very quickly 
learn to rotate around a piece like I'm doing, um, you will get good at that after you after you play with Roblox Studio for a while. But it looks like that will be about halfway. Let me let me uh, click on this so you can see the. Yeah, that looks like about half. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the model menu and hit negate. And then I'm going to union both of these, selecting both of them and then hitting union. And there it is, there's my, there is my half pipe. And let me test it just to make sure it works the way I want it to. Yeah. We've got a half pipe. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And we have one more piece to make. We have a cup that we're going to make in the last in the last video for this lesson. And I'm sure you can probably figure out by now how we're going to do it. We're going to use the same techniques that we just used to make this pipe. But um, I will see you in the next video.